Hello everyone. So a lot many students ask me regarding a summer research fellowship or summer fellowships in different institutes. So a lot many institute have already taken the form and they have already like you know the process of summer fellowship is already done over there. But there are some institute which are left out. So I am going to update you about them. Basically, this video is about IIT Madras summer fellowship program. So this is the website. I will give you link in the description of this video. You can directly come up to this page. You can read about this of your own. Let me tell you in short that what this uh, fellowship program is about. Okay, so it's like an internship program, just like uh, students who are in uh, MSc first year or who are in uh, like third year of their BSc, they want to do some internship after completion of their BSc or during their MSc in order to gain some interest or in order to gain some research uh, knowledge. For them, this particular fellowships are right. So as it says that IIT Madras summer fellowship program is of two months with a stipend is designed to enhance awareness and interest in the high quality academic research among young engineering management and sciences and humanities students. Okay, to a goal oriented summer mini project undertaken at uh, IIT Madras. So this is the whole uh, like that's the motto of this particular uh, summer fellowship program. Let's talk about eligibility because there a lot of people will be confused about. So let me be very clear about it that uh, those who are in third year of BSc, BE or BTech, okay, and those who are doing BSc engineering, okay, and they are in third year of that, they can apply for this. Okay, then uh, those who are in third or fourth year of integrated ME or MTech program, they can also apply for it. Or those who are in the first year of ME, MTech, or MSc, or MA, or MBA with outstanding academic background, they can also apply for it. So basically, if you are talking about science students, so those who are in first year of MSc or those who have passed first year of MSc, they can apply for it. Uh, so that is basically about it. If you have completed your MSc, you cannot apply it, right? So this is uh, the the eligibility criteria is quite clear over here. You should be very clear about it. Now, uh, you should also have a good academic background for applying it. That means you should have good uh, percentages in your uh, respective uh, courses during your master's or during your MTech or during your MA program, right? So that is also one of the thing which is necessary. One point which is highlighted is IIT students are not eligible to apply. So they are not uh, accepting IIT student. The reason is not to uh, be biased towards IIT student. It's actually IIT student already get this research exposure or this uh like uh, the the research related academic exposure so that's why they are not allowing them so that uh, they can give fair chances to other students who are non uh, who study from non iits and other institutes all right now the period of the project will be a uh, duration from 22nd may 2023 to 21st of july 2023 and this schedule is can be a little bit flexible depending upon the students convenience the subjects for which they are going to accept is in the engineering department almost all the engineering departments are there like aerospace engineering applied mechanics biotechnology chemical engineering civil engineering computer science and engineering engineering design electrical engineering mechanical engineering metallurgical and material engineering and ocean engineering so all these sub uh, departments of engineering are acceptable in science department physics chemistry and mathematics are accepting this summer fellowship then in humanities and social sciences and management studies these departments are also accepting uh, like a summer fellowship program stipend will be provided of amount 6000 per month that is the stipend which you are going to get uh, for the duration of two months from the institute and uh, to apply for this you should have a bona fide certificate or a letter from the institute that should certify that you are bona fide student issued by the head of institution so that template is actually here you can click on this link and you can download uh, the template if you are ug student you can download from here if you are a pg student you can download it from here right remember that it has started from 18th of february itself and the last date of submission is 31st of march uh, at 5 pm so make sure that you are filling this particular uh, internship program or summer fellowship program uh, before this particular date right so this is very important uh, now bona fide certificate is nothing difficult it's just it will just certify that you are a student of a particular institute and the institute does not have any problem if you do internship or if you do a fellowship program in iit madras that's what it will say now let me tell you how you can apply for it okay so there are four steps to apply first is to uh, create login 
so in create login you have to go to the create new account you have to fill your uh, id and you have to fill your password and then you will be set to a login using your username and password then you have to fill up the form fill up form will uh, include all your in like all your basic details and all your academic details okay so you have to fill that and then you have to upload file so you have to upload your passport size photograph you have to upload your bona fide certificate and you also have to upload your academic certificates like scan documents of class 10th or class 12th ug mark sheets whatever is necessary so those documents will be applied uh, applicable then if you belong to any particular category or if you are a pwd candidate in that case uh, those certificates will also be applicable or you have to upload them as well then you just have to submit the application no fees is a uh, uh, like you don't have to pay anything for that and uh, a sequential application number will be generated to you and hard copy of the application is not to be sent to any institute or department so once you are done with this your uh, like your uh, like you will be eligible to apply like you your application will be accepted basically and whether it will be considered or not that you will get to know after few days and they will inform you via mail that whether you are selected for summer fellowship program or not and this is not online program you have to go to the institute and you have to uh, join over there and you have to stay uh, two months over there and then then do the uh, this particular program right uh, for any other details you can contact to respective departments here are email ad addresses so you can uh, basically contact if you want to get any particular information there are different phone numbers also you can contact to those phone numbers as well if you want to get some information all right so this was a quick update regarding summer fellowship program uh, from iit madras i hope you guys understood and i hope you guys will take benefit of this particular summer fellowship program and uh, that's all for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care please subscribe the channel for more such videos